everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dialing In, this time another Pod Go edition. So what I did is I actually went back through some of my older videos uh, that I did di specific dialing in tones for the Helix, for particular artists. And I was kind of going over some of the ones that were quite popular that I got a lot of good feedback on. And I thought, why don't I try recreating some of these for the Pod Go and give some of the Pod Go users the opportunity to download these from Custom Tones. So today I'm doing my Billy Gibbons-ish, Lagrange-ish, Lagrange-esque style tone. Now again, the disclaimer is always, uh, I'm not claiming that I've, I've copied uh, Billy's tone or I've recreated it. This is somewhere in the ballpark. It's really gonna be dependent on the guitars you use. I've tried this preset with a few different guitars. It sounds different, obviously, with all of them. So, you know, I don't need the comments about that doesn't sound right, that doesn't, it, it's to get in that ballpark and I hope some folks enjoy it and you may have to tweak it a little bit for your guitar, maybe more gain, maybe less gain, some EQ uh, and your monitoring system just to get it to work for you. But it's hopefully a good starting point. And I, I was enjoying this preset. Now I'm also going to have up on my other channel an older video that I uploaded uh, that I did quite a while ago, actually, um, of me using the Helix version of this to perform my kind of version of the first solo in Lagrange, just so you could hear what this sounds like in the mix. As we all know, a lot of times tones sound one way out of the mix, we get them in the mix, and it's a totally different ball game, right? So, without further ado, let's go over and take a look at what I did here for the Pod Go. It's a fairly simple preset. I have an amp, a cab, uh, a delay, a reverb, an EQ that's really only a high and low cut, and I have my normal little compressor at the end. So starting there, I have my LA Studio Comp, which I put on you know 98% of my presets just to give it that little mastering touch at the end, a little bit of glue to hold everything together. Peak reduction of 5.5, gain of five, set to compress, emphasis 0.9, mix at 100%. Uh, the high and low uh, cuts, I just have a low cut at 100 hertz and a high cut at 9 kilohertz, and it just seems to work. I, I didn't put a whole parametric EQ here because I wasn't using anything else on it. I wanted to add a little bit of ambience to this to give it a little more life in the mix and a little sit a little bit nicer, uh, as, as Billy's tone doesn't sound totally dry. I used a plate reverb with a decay of 3.5, pre-delay of 15 milliseconds, low cut of 90 hertz, high cut of 4.6 kilohertz, mix of 30%. I have no idea if there was a plate reverb on Billy's sound, but when you hear this in the mix, it actually works quite nicely, and it gives you that sort of ballpark to what he was doing. Now, another way I kind of colored the sound up a bit was using a transistor tape delay. So that was with a pretty fast time of 50 milliseconds, feedback of zero. The wow and flutter I just left at 3.6 really isn't gonna have much of an effect because there's not many repeats in the delays going on. Scale at 100%, spread at 2.9, mix at 35%. Uh, now, on the cab, I used the 412 Greenback 25 with a 121 ribbon, four inches back, pretty simple. I love that 121 ribbon mic, gives a nice uh, beefy fat tone uh, that, that just really works nicely. And then on the Brit Trem Jump, which is the amp model I chose. Now, it's probably the wrong model compared to what Billy actually used on the original recording, but it worked for this, so I went with it. Bright and normal drive both cranked to 10, bass at 2.1, mids at 5.2, treble at 8.6, and present at 7.7 .7 to kind of make up for the fact I have that ribbon mic on there and add a little bit of bite into the sound. Channel volume at 9.1, master at 10. Now, one of the things I did do is I bumped the sag up to 7.5 to kind of mimic that feel that, that I kind of sense in, in, in the tone that Billy has on that. So that's basically it. So if I was to take this and turn the compression off, turn all of the other effects off, what we have is this is our core amp tone. <laughs> It's really not that bad the way it is. Now, I'm gonna bring that compressor in just to... Just so it hits every now and then, gives it a little tiny bit of squash to it. Bring the low and the high cuts in. Nice stuff. Bring that plate reverb in. And I really 
liked what this delay did to the sound. I'll bring that in now. Without. So we hear it comes together kind of nicely and it gives us that general ballpark. Now, if we want to play something like the intro where it's a cleaner sound, we can actually just, and it doesn't, it's not great on this guitar necessarily, but I kind of flip to my second position, roll that volume back. Okay, now if I switch this out for a Strat, it kind of even gets better than that. Same sort of thing, second position. Actually, I'll go to the fourth position on the Strat. Volume rolled back to maybe two, three, four. Go to the second position. Now I could play the whole thing. But for the tones with the volume all the way up, I kind of like the humbuck. So that's what I had for my Billy Gibbons-ish, Lagrange-esque sort of a sound. And I think it'll work nicely in the studio or live if you had to play that. And just using your volume control, you should be able to clean it up nicely and get back to those overdrive tones without having to even hit another snapshot or anything. So that's gonna be up on Custom Tone now. Please go check out the performance video. I'll have the link below. It's on my other channel where I can put some uh, covers up and it's an old video, I, you know, different guitars and I think no beard, you know, all of that. Still, still no hair though. Um, and it, it, let me know what you think of it. That'll be basically this preset, but played on the Helix with all the same settings. You kind of hear what this sounds like in the mix. So thanks so much for tuning in guys. I really, really appreciate it. Please like the video, share it with anybody who you think would get use out of watching it or enjoy watching it. Hit the uh, subscribe button and hit the bell notification and notify when I put new content out and I'll be back soon with some more content. Thank you guys so much for tuning in again. Ciao for now.